God holds the man responsible. So it is to your advantage that you pray for this man, your husband, pray for him, your boyfriend, your future husband, pray for him that his relationship with the Lord will be found on a solid rock. If not, he cannot lead you right. He cannot give you what he doesn't have. And when God begins to build a relationship with his sons, he robs his glory upon his sons so much so that they begin to receive the understanding necessary to be better men, better husbands, better fathers, better assignment holders, stewards, and all of those things. They cannot function in these roles when the first role is defective. And this includes to men whose fathers were not there. Just because the father was not there doesn't mean that he does. You should not seek better, better relationship with the father. Ultimately, that's why I love God. That even if your earthly father failed, I did not fail you. Don't neglect your relationship with me. Now let's pray. Agada Yebra is satire. I want us, you know, today's message was really to bring us back to what matters the most. Because we've got, we've all gotten it wrong at one point or the other. Where, where we have, we have pursued marriage and pursued this and pursued that. But the relationship with the father was so detached. Let me tell you, although the Lord is pouring out the spirit upon all flesh in these last days, I am telling you, it is according to the workings, our work with the Holy Spirit that we would be able to manifest as sons of God. God is not, not, God is no longer impressed by just power, healing, prophecy everywhere, but his presence is no longer there. No. No, he wants his presence to be there. It is his presence that he wants to be there. If his presence is not there, every other manifestation is just for drama. So I want you to pray from that understanding. You're going to be praying for yourself. You're also going to be praying for... Okay. You're also going to be praying for your husband, okay? Pray that the Lord is going to... He's going to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit, a relationship with the Holy Spirit that would change his life forever we're going to be showing you the first prayers we have about seven of them we're going to start with the first one as the holy spirit leads us on instagram the uh, i'm going to read out the prayers to you by the grace of god amen hallelujah zaga de brada but let's just open our mouth and begin to praise the name of the uh, worship the name of god let's just begin to worship the name of god even as we even as we dive into the prayers hallelujah Father Lord, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we worship you. Adonai, we exalt your holy name. Oh, Father God, we thank you. Open your mouth and just begin to take the first prayer. It says, Father, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. I thank you that you always hear me whenever I call on you. That is so important. You must understand. The Bible says in John 11, 41, 42, Jesus was saying to, to the Father, you always hear me whenever I call. That applies to us, to our sons. Father God, I thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father God, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. I thank you because you always hear me whenever I call. You know, some of us, we still doubt. Does God hear me? Does God not hear me? He does. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank him for this word that you have heard. This word that you have heard. Even as you, before you start to pray for your future husband, thank him first. Acknowledge him first. Acknowledge him first. Open your mouth. In the name of Jesus. There's a song I would like to sing. It says, I release the sound of the heavens. The sound of Yeshua, Shekinah is here. I cry, holy, 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 unto Yeshua, Shekinah is here. Hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, 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 hey Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, eh, 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 
one more time and say Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, 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 Yahweh, 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 hey, hey, hey. Open your mind and just begin to acknowledge the presence of God. Acknowledge him. Don't be so overwhelmed with the things that your physical eyes can see that you are unaware that the presence of God is with you. It will be sad for the Holy Spirit to be right there with you and you don't, you don't know it. Yahweh, Yahweh, eh, eh, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, hey, hey. let me tell you something. The Lord is moving over the male gender as well. I really want to make this um, known to every one of you here. Don't, don't think that, oh, we are the men. Hold on on that. The Lord is awakening the male gender. Men are rising up. Men are rising up. Hmm. Oh, we release the sound of the heavens, the sound of Jehovah, for Yahweh is here. We cry, Holy, Holy, Holy unto Yeshua, Shekinah is here, Yahweh, 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 hey, hey, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. opens your eyes in the spirit even right now you would really sense and probably see that there is a move of the spirit of the living God over the earth every time I sing this song that's really what happens in my spirit man and understanding that there is a move of the spirit of the living God over the earth the Lord is moving over the earth marriage is just one of the benefits that happens where I need you to understand that's what we are about to pray. The Lord is in agreement with it. And that's a very powerful knowledge to know. That the Lord is in agreement with what we are about to ask him. Because it is his agenda. It is his end time agenda. It is his end time agenda. It is what he wants. He wants his sons to rise up. And I'm talking about the men. When Jesus Christ came to the earth to disciple he didn't pick women to disciple. The first set of 12 people he picked were men. Were men, were men, were men, were men. It was not because he was gender biased. It was because, unfortunately, even now we sit in our generation, we focus so much on equipping the woman, teaching her, keep yourself, but we neglect the man, the manhood. If you want to really follow God's protocol, first hit the home with the man, then teach the woman, because when men catch it, women follow. God doesn't have a problem catching the woman's attention. It is the man's attention that, that is a problem. It is a man's attention that is a problem. That is why the, with this challenge is a very powerful thing that we do. The Lord wants us to do this kind of things. Praying for our men. Praying for our men. Don't just get used to, oh, my audience is women because women are the ones who, who, who are easily con uh, can convinced. They are the ones who are easily going to buy. No. If God was to come down today, it is men he will gather. He's not neglecting the woman, but he said the women will follow. They would always follow. They would always follow. Did women not follow Jesus? They did. But if he wants to start a protocol, it is with the man. He started with the man. He's ending it with the man. So if we ignore the male gender, we're making a very big mistake. Both your sons, your husbands, even the fathers of your fathers of your children. You must pray that they would awaken to the call of God upon their lives. They will come alive in their relationship with the father. Because if they do not come alive, 
If they do not come alive, we would have a ministry filled with women. We would have places where women are overcrowding the whole place. And God will still be pleased, but he will be grieved at the fact that the male gender, they fail to step up. They fail to step up. Women are awake. Are waking up because the spirit of the Lord is so involved in this thing. But too many men are involved in prison, drugs, addiction, sex, pornography. Several things that the enemy has given them in their hands. And then we've, we've now contributed to it by judging, condemning them. Oh, but the men don't know how to stay away from sex. No, 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 no. The Lord is looking for women that will collaborate with him for what he wants to do on the earth with the male gender. He's doing something with the women, but he's, there's, there's an assignment he has for the male gender. And he said, if only my Deborahs would arise. My Tabitas will arise. My young ladies will arise. You are a wife. You are married to your husband. Don't just pack up your bags and divorce him. Because certain things. No. Take, it, take that man up as your assignment and say, no. I will not move on yet till I see the justice of God in my home. The justice of God in my home. Don't just take, don't just take up a, a relaxed mode because your husband has failed in responsibility. Arise. Arise. God is trusting us. The reason why we are still here is because God is trusting us. For this move of God is saying, as many as will come unto me, walk with me, pray, intercede on the behalf of their men, the men in their lives, so that they would wake up to become the men that God wants them to be. Don't be disconnected. The next prayer we're going to be praying. We're going to be asking for mercy. The presence of God is in this place. Kazandale Bradaba. It says, please have mercy upon me. In any way I have sinned, please wash me with the everlasting blood of the Lamb, so that I will be in right standing with you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on me. In all ways that I that I might have sinned, oh God, have mercy. Wash me with the everlasting blood of the Lamb. Wash me, wash me, wash me, wash me, wash me, wash me, Jesus, with your blood. Wash me with the everlasting blood of the Lamb. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Kazizi bada. Zege de braida baba zede ba susu. Kala brada dai ba susu kataya. Meze kendele brada da ba zede iba sibriaya. Me kuzudu badai. Kebre de 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 de, kada brada ba 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 ba, kala brada da da ba ba zodo kolo brada da, kele brede bo 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 subria da 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 da, le brada da ba 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 ba, le brede de 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 de, masusu kata ibasa for in Jesus name that we have prayed, Amen. The third prayer we're going to be taking. We're going to be saying, let your kingdom come in the heart and life of my husband. If you're not married, in the heart and life of my future husband. Open your mouth. So, those of you that have listened to our message on thy kingdom come, you should understand this prayer. Lord, let your kingdom come in the heart and life of my husband. In the heart and life of my future husband. Open your mouth and begin to cry out to the Lord. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come in the heart and life of my husband. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come wherever my future husband is. Mazada dare brada baba ba soko sataya. Leke brede de 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 de. Kada brada baba sataya ba shabria sataya. Maso soko to le brede de 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 de. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Kedia basa brada da da basa ta. Leke bre de 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 de. Masusu kata ta 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 ta. Le bre de bo shubria da 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 da. Zege de ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Le bra kele bra da ba 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 ba. Le bre de 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 de. Masusu kada da. Le bre de 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 de. Zagada brada da 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 le bro do 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 bo zo brada da 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 ma se ke le bre de ba shataya open your mouth let your kingdom come let your kingdom come let your kingdom come in my husband's life in the life of my future husband the kingdom of god let your kingdom come let your kingdom come in the life of my future husband in the name of jesus for in jesus name that we have prayed amen Amen. Let's take the next prayer. The fourth prayer says, 
Let your righteousness, your justice, your mercy, your goodness, your kindness, your peace, your favor, joy in the Holy Ghost come in my in the life of my husband, in the life of my future husband. Let me get to mention these things. Women of God, you are an intercessor. Open your mouth and intercede on behalf of that man and say, let the righteousness of God, the justice of God, the mercy of God. Listen, when the justice of God comes in his life, wherever he has experienced injustice, justice comes to balance it out. The mercy of God comes to vindicate him for where he has either been found guilty based off in, um, um, actions of his own accord or actions from his lineage. These are attributes that he needs in his life. Open your mouth and pray that the righteousness, the justice, the mercy, the goodness, the kindness, the peace, the favor, the joy in the Holy Ghost would come in the life of your husband, in the life of your future husband. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open, open your mouth. Kada brada baba, masusu katai braida baba. Oh, digili brida baba satire, mazozo le brede de 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 de, zugudu kale brada brada, mazada da e brada da bazada ya, leke brida baba 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 baba. Open your mouth and begin to pray that the that the righteousness of God, the justice of God, the peace of God, the kindness of God would be good come in his life, in his life, in the life of your future husband, in the life of your husband. These are real people. Your future husband is a real person. Your sons, open your mouth, pray, 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 pray that the righteousness of God, the justice of God, the peace of God, the mercy of God, it will come in the life of this man, it will come in his life, it will come in the life of my husband. Open your mouth and cry out to your maker. If you are a man here, yeah, ask that the righteousness of God will come in your life and the life of your wife, your future wife. Open your mouth and cry out to the Father. Let your righteousness come. Let your justice come. Let your mercy come in the life of my, my wife wherever she is open your mouth open your mouth yes there are men who join us here open your mouth and begin to pray for your future wives or your current wives open your wives or your mouth open your mouth open your mouth in the name of jesus for in jesus name of prayer let's let's take this song take my body my soul my spirit Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, and breathe on me. For you are the Holy Ghost. 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 The Holy Ghost. Let me share something with you that I'm seeing in my spirit, man. I tell you, the Spirit of God is here. And he's not just here because we're hanging out. He's here because we are speaking his mind. This is a burden in the heart of the Father. This is a burden in the heart of the Father. There are so many men. And the breath of the Almighty is needed in them to come alive. And the spirit of the living God is hovering over the earth. You know, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, it says when the earth was without form and void, and the spirit hovered over the earth. He hovered over the earth. 
the Hovad of Yehovah over the earth. The spirit of the Lord is the spirit of truth. Is this is the breath of the Almighty that comes into the life of a man and everything comes alive. There are so many men. It's like I can see them, but they are almost like skeletons. What that means is weak, weak in spirit, weak in spirit. I see so many of them entangled in chains and bondages. Men, men, male, male gender, entangled in chains and bondages, stretched here and stretched there. He can't function that way. Man was not meant to be chained. He was not meant to be imprisoned. You are the Holy Ghost. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Before we take this next prayer, um, the next, I think the next two ones are pretty in connection to what I see really in my spirit right now. I want you to take these prayers really seriously. These prayers we're going to be taking right now for your future husband and your husband, take it very seriously. It's not just about God connects me with my husband. If he connects you with the man that he intended or he plans for you right now, would you be able to handle him with all the things that he comes with? Is it not better for God to have dealt with some things before he comes into your life? Pray this prayer, sisters. It says, Lord, um, please, Heavenly Father, please fill my, my husband, my future husband, with your spirit. With your spirit. Jesus is a perfect example of that in Luke chapter 4, verse 1. It says Jesus was full of the spirit. Full of the spirit. When a man is full of the spirit of God, he is 100% the spirit of God, zero flesh. <laughs> Zero percent flesh. Zero percent flesh. It is a possibility. Don't think, oh, can it happen? It happened to Paul. It happened to Peter. It happened to Jesus. It can happen. To be full of the Spirit. Lord, Heavenly Father, rather, fill my future husband with your spirits. The Spirit of the living God. The Spirit of the living God. The Spirit of the living God. Fill my future husband with the Spirit of the living God. Fill my future husband with the spirit of the living God. Open your mouth and cry out to your maker. Fill my, my future husband with the spirit of the living God. The spirit of the living God. The spirit of the living God. Hmm. Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey. Open your mouth and pray. Hey, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. I see a wife. You just, right now in this prayer session, you just surrendered your husband. You are a wife. You're already married. But you just surrendered your husband to God. You just told God that I, 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 I hands up, you, you take the, take the wheel from here. Like I give you full control over the matter and the Lord has heard you. Now you have gone into collaboration with Elohim. The both of you have the same agenda. You both want the same things. Ah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, hey, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hey, hey, it's okay, Yahweh. Yahweh, hey, hey. fill my husband, fill my future husband with your spirit, oh God. Hmm. 
For in Jesus' name that we have prayed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the next prayer we're going to be praying is this. It says, Heavenly Father, let my husband, my future husband, be led and guided by your Spirit. Let my husband, my future husband, let him be led and guided by your spirits. Let him be led and guided by your spirit. There's a scripture in my spirit. I want to bring it out. Zaga da 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 le crede bobo zu brada da ma zu zu badai ba sebre i ba sasa le bre de 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 zigi digi 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 di za brada da 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 zo go do bra i ba su su badai ma zo zo ma zo zo ma zo zo ma zo le crede ba 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 le brada da 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 i ka le brada da da le bre ba zu 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 la ka de bra i ba sataya open your mouth open your mouth let him be led let him be led let him be led when the holy spirit is the one leading him you don't have to worry how do i submit because the holy spirit is going to lead your home automatically open your mouth jesus keda brada da 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 le creda baba the bible says for as many as are led by the spirit they shall be called the sons of god those are they that are the sons of god those ones who are led by the spirit 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 what god is doing in this time in this season he's going to be doing it with men who are led by the spirit men who are led by the spirit men who are led by the spirit not just male or female but in this case we're praying for the men men who are led by the spirit 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 that he will be led by the spirit the spirit of the living god who would never lead him astray who would never lead him astray the Lord has, has it in him to walk with men. He walked with Noah, walked with Enoch, he walked with Elijah, he walked with Abraham, he walked with Jacob, he walked with Moses, he walked with Gideon, he walked with Joshua, he walked with David, he walked with Solomon. The Lord wants to walk with men. That's, what's, that's one of the things that, he, that made him allow COVID to come. So that he can finally have one-on-one -on -one relationship with his children. That where he would be the one leading them. Not doctrine, not religion. I want to lead you, he says. I want to lead you. I'm the one who knows the way. I am the way myself. Let me lead you. Let me lead you. Oh, the spirit of the Lord is beckoning upon his sons. He's saying, come, let me lead you. Many men are so confused. That's why, that's why, that's why, oh God, Jesus, in Jesus' name, before we pray the last prayer, let me tell you something. A man who is struggling with his identity and his assignment, he can't, he can't really recognize a wife when he meets one. That's why some, some women, some of, sometimes you meet a man and you feel like this man is, you know, he's the one you would have loved to be with. You're trying so much to be, to, to make him see that, you know, I'm wife material. He can't see it. How can he see it when he's doing four jobs? Three, four jobs. When he's entangled in devices that he can't share some with you. How? The Lord wants to lead his sons. He wants to lead his sons. The Lord wants to begin to build um, um, structures that would help to mentor his male his male sons he wants to mentor them he wants to disciple them many of them have lost their way many of them have lost their way many men because their father walked out his life has never remained the same again he's unable to retreat he's not like many of them really want to be having children all over the place they just don't know they don't know how they think he's happy baby mama here baby mama there just doesn't know how just doesn't know how. And let me tell you something. For those of you who are wives or you're separated from your husband, what thing that helps you to intercede accurately for him is when you have understanding for way, what he's going through. Sometimes when we don't understand what he's going through, we find it hard to really intercede 
mercifully and compassionately over his life. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. But I want you to pray that the Lord would lead, would lead this man, lead him, lead him, lead him, lead him, lead him. He's, he's going into different things. You know this is not how he should do it. But let the Lord begin to lead him. Let the Lord begin to lead him. Let the Lord begin to lead him. Hallelujah. Kadabra is a so. For in Jesus' name that we prayed. We're going to take our last prayer for today. This prayer is extremely important. This prayer is extremely important. I encourage every believer to pray this prayer. It says, Heavenly Father, breathe your breath of life upon my husband, upon my future husband, so that he will come alive in you. Well, Lady Anne, is he not alive? Yes. But like I told you, I told you that he can be physically breathing or dead within. Open your mouth and say, let the Heavenly Father breathe upon your future husband, upon your husband. Okay? Let the, let the Lord breathe upon your husband, upon your future. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Heavenly Father, breathe upon my husband. Breathe your breath of life upon him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. feet. Breathe your breath of life upon him. Let him begin to come alive in you. Let him begin to come and let his identity be made known in you. Mm. Okay. Be praying, continue praying, continue praying. There's a lady on here. Um, that's right, thank God that it's online so you don't have to come out. <laughs> There's a lady on here. You're having dispute. You have a male child. You're not with the father of the child. You're having disputes with the father of the child. And because of that, you are indirectly out of what the man has done to you, which was unfair. You are trying to withhold the boy from his father. Don't do that. Don't do that. Once you have children, it is not about you anymore. Don't do that. Don't do that. Not only would you break the man by doing so, which should not be your goal, the child, you can't be daddy to the child. I can't be a father to my daughter. It is not within my capacity. So I want you to pray that the Lord would breathe upon your, your this um, man, the father of your child, that he will come alive and become the father that he's supposed to be to your child. Let that be your angle. Don't try to separate the boy from the, child, from the father. Don't do it. He needs his father. Right now, he might be all about mommy, but there is a time coming in his life where he's going to ask you questions. You do not want to be responsible for the destruction of that relationship. Let him have a relationship with his father. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, breathe your breath of life upon my husband, upon my future husband. The Bible says there is a spirit in man and the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. So I want you to begin to ask that the Lord will breathe. Let Heavenly Father breathe upon my husband. Breathe upon him. Breathe your breath of life upon him. Breathe your breath of life upon him. Breathe your breath of life upon me, upon him. In the name of Jesus, breathe your breath of life upon him, O God. Breathe your breath of life upon him that he will come alive, that he will come alive, that he will come alive, that he will come alive into the fullness of his being, into the fullness of his being, into the fullness of his being. In the name of Jesus, 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 breathe your breath of life upon my husband, breathe your breath of life upon my future husband. For in Jesus' name of prayed, amen. Before I say a word of prayer with you, I'm going to respond to a statement I saw here. The person is actually saying, not if he is toxic. Even if he is toxic, you should at least pray for him. Don't have a long-term agenda to keep the child away from the father. Instead, pray for him. Nobody is voluntarily or intentionally toxic. He is only giving what was given to him. Pray for him. He might not be the man you end up with, but he is the father, the biological father of that child. 
There is nothing as... Just pray for him, please. If it is hard for you to pray for him, then forgiveness is yet to take place. Ask the Lord to help you with forgiveness and still pray for him. That the breath of the Almighty will come alive, will, 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 will bring everything alive in him. Bring him back alive to the man he is supposed to be. Lead him to good mentors and teach him on how to be a father. So that you don't cut that contact from the son to the father. Male figures are important in the lives of children. I want us to... Um, I want us to pray. I'm going to be praying for every one of you. Holy Spirit of the living God, we call upon you today. We know that it is your desire for you to begin to bring alive your sons, your male, your sons for the sake of your kingdom agenda. So Lord, as many women as I hear, thousands of them from all over the world, we cry out unto you, O God, that your, you will breathe your breath of life in the lives of our future husbands, in the lives of our husbands. Let men begin to come alive, 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 come alive. Ha. I see some men entangled in deeper things than the eyes can see unconsciously entangled in bondages that cannot be unraveled by the human hands. So, Lord, I stand in agreement with this woman. Over every man that is supposed to be in their lives but is yet to be, or the ones who are currently in their lives that should be but is not functional in, in, in their lives, Father God, I pray that if that man is in any kind of bondage, the deliverer would come into his life and deliver him. Rescue him, O oh God. Rescue him, O oh God. Rescue him, O oh God. Oh, Ibazadaye, brother, da basataya. Ukadai, brother, Ibasusubadai, basha. Rescue him, O oh God, from that entanglement, from that bondage, from those chains. Set him free, O oh God. 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 Oh God. Cut those chains off. You did it for Paul and Silas. Set him free, O oh God. Lord, let your kingdom come in the lives of this man. Arrest your hearts for the sake of your work, for the sake of your dealings, your plans for them. Arrest the hearts of this man. Those whose hearts are still hardened, oh God. Oh, Father, we, we ask that you would arrest their heart, arrest their heart, arrest their heart. Oh, women, I want to encourage you. These are prayers that you should be praying every time. You should be praying every time. I feel the intensity so heavy um, in the spirit. Um, because honestly, there are so many men, so many men. They look good on the outside, but they are entangled. And the moment you get into a relationship with them, you begin to have tormenting dreams. People appearing in your dream, trying to torment you. It's because you've tampered with somebody who's been successfully and quietly in bondage for years before you came. Oh, Lord Jesus, we ask that you would deliver this ones, oh Lord, from the bondages, the chains that they've been chained to. In the name of Jesus, set them completely free, Holy Spirit. Set them completely free, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I see men rising up with a hunger for God and God alone. Men that are receiving deeper understanding of the word of God. Men who are knowing God, knowing him fully more and more. Men who are yielded and submitted. Men who are in more in love with God than they are in love with any other thing. Men who are dying to flesh. Men who don't have a who don't have ego issues stopping them from pursuing that which the Lord has placed in front of them. Men whose eyes have been opened up to see the helper that the Lord has sent them. Men who are stepping up to their responsibilities as husbands and
and fathers, men who are coming back home. I see men who, as a child, they, they grew up in a Christian home, but then they missed their way. And the Lord is saying, my prodigal son, come back. The house have always had it prepared for you. Come back in, come back in. Men are coming back home, coming back home. There is a revival in the land, Kadaiba Sataya. Oh, le brada da. The devil thought he was successful at it, where he had begun to, to, to break the male gender. But the Lord is doing a mighty work. If only many women would arise and collaborate with him. Collaborate with him. Le kradaba zuzubadaiba sataya. For that woman who out of the burden, the sadness and the frustration of your heart, you open your mouth in very unique times and you've cursed your husband to his face. I'm not talking behind his back. You have out of anger, out of disappointment, broken heart. You have cursed your husband. Oh, I pray that the Lord will give you the grace to forgive. And I also pray that the Lord will, would give you the grace to intercede on his behalf. Those words need to be cancelled. Those words need to be cancelled. Those words, need, don't, don't think automatically they are gone because you're forgiving them. Forgiving him, no. Those words need to be cancelled. I pray, oh God, that the Lord will begin to restore marriages, restore marriages. Men who have walked out of their marriages to women or whatever it is, Father, begin to bring them back home. Begin to bring them back home. Begin to bring them. The Bible says the heart of kings are in his hands. He turns it where, wherever he will it. In the name of Jesus, I speak and I prophesy in agreement with all my sisters on here and even my brothers on here. To all men, the ones connected to us currently, currently or the ones to be connected to us in the future. Arise! Arise, man of God. Arise, man of God. Your father is beckoning on you. He's saying, come, come, come to me. You are thirsty. He says, there is something you are thirsty for, but you are trying to drink from a tap that you were not meant to drink from. Come, let me feed you. I say, I can give you the living water from which you would never thirst again. It is not a mystery. It is a reality. Come, my son, come. Come, I see a woman, you have a teenage son and he's drifting apart. You're worrying, but you're using your worry the wrong way. You're not handling it the right way. That boy is drifting apart. He has so many questions, some of which you have the answers, but you're not giving it to him. He said, you're always fighting and fighting and fighting with him. Calm down, relax. He's your son. The Lord knows that he's your son. He knows what stage he's in right now. The Lord wants to teach you of how to communicate with him so that you do not lose him. Because the other people that are trying to call your son to this place, those ones are not shouting at him. They're not rebuking him. They are completely accepting him. You don't want to communicate rejection from a place of anger. I pray that the Lord will give you wisdom on how to, how to help him and connect him with mentors, male mentors, Christian male mentors that would mentor him in this season of his life. In the name of Jesus, that men would arise. I see young children, male children, prophesying, seeing visions, prophesying, seeing visions. Don't underestimate the vision that your children come to share with you. Don't underestimate it. The Lord is doing a mighty work in the lives of little children. I want you to begin to channel a lot of prayers. Psalm 1 verse 3. It's a powerful scripture to pray over your children. Begin to pray over your children. Pray over your children that they will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for in Jesus' name of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is so good. He's so good. He's so good. He knows every detail. He's concerned about every detail. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the way the program is broken down, the first day, we talk, we've talked about the relationship with the father. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about his assignment. And then the third day, we're going to be talking about his relationship with you. Whether your current marriage or your future marriage, we're going to be talking about, we're going to be praying about that. Okay? So I would like for you to come in. To, we're still fasting. We're fasting. You can, you've broken, for those of you who's already past 6 p.m., the fast is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., drinking just water within your time zone. We publish all the prayers 
at about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Um, all prayers will be published for the next day at about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please, please, please avail yourselves. Pray these prayers on your own. Don't just wait till we pray together to pray them. Pray these prayers on your own. Intercede on behalf of this man, on behalf of your future husband or your the man you're currently married to. And watch what God is going to do. The amazing, amazing testimony is happening. I got one yesterday from somebody. Who, I don't know if she's here. I'm not going to mention her name, of course. And um, Instagram is a video post right and um her marriage was literally you know so many things were happening um right and as at the time i had met her, i remember the situation with her husband um however now he's back home do you see so god is doing so many things there's so many people that have given testimonies of how god restored their marriage and brought their husband back home women who met amazing men kingdom minded men you know um so I'm, we're not praying this prayer for you to just meet your future husband we're praying so that the man that you meet is a man who is on the same page with you and god in order for purpose to be fulfilled 